multiple step experiments. Now, previously we defined an experiment as any process that generates a set of outcomes. And we gave two examples of experiments. We said tossing a coin is an experiment because it gives the outcomes head and tail and rolling a die is an experiment because it gives the outcomes 1 through 6. Now a multiple step experiment is simply several experiments rolled into a single experiment. And we call each of these experiments a step in the multiple step experiment. So for example, tossing two coins is a multiple step experiment because tossing the first coin is an experiment in itself and tossing the second coin is also an experiment. Now we call the toss of each coin one of the steps in the multiple step experiment. Tossing the first coin is step one and tossing the second coin is step two. Now there are four possible outcomes in this multiple step experiment. We can get head on the first coin and head on the second coin. We can get head on the first coin and tail on the second coin. We can get tail on the first coin and head on the second coin. And we can get tail on both coins. So there are four possible outcomes. Um, now, in this multiple step experiment, it was easy to find how many outcomes there were because we could simply write out all of the different outcomes and see that there are four possible outcomes in this multiple step experiment. But sometimes there'll be many possible outcomes. So what we can do in those cases is use the counting rule <coughs> for multiple step experiments. The counting rule for multiple step experiments says that if an experiment consists of a sequence of k steps, so k is the total number of steps in the experiment with n1 possible outcomes in step 1. So n1 is how many outcomes are possible in step 1. n2 is how many outcomes are possible in step 2. and so on. Um, so there are n1 possible outcomes in step one, n2 denotes how many possible outcomes there are in step two, n3 denotes how many outcomes there are in step three, and so on, all the way up to nk. So there are nk number of outcomes in step k. Then the total number of outcomes 
is given by n1 times n2 up to nk. So let's use this counting rule to calculate how many outcomes there are in our ex example where we're tossing two coins. And we already listed the, the outcomes and we saw that there are four outcomes. So our answer should be equal to four. So first of all, K denotes the number of steps. So here we have two steps, tossing the first coin and tossing the second coin. So K is equal to two. And one is the number of outcomes in step one. So when you toss the first coin, there are two possible outcomes, head and tail. So N1 is equal to two. N2 is the number of outcomes in step two. So that's tossing the second coin. So again, there are two possible outcomes, head and tail. So N2 is also equal to two. Um, and then we stop here. So K is equal to two. So uh, we only go up to N2. Then the total number of outcomes is given by N1 times N2, which is two times two, which is equal to four, which is the same thing we saw above when we listed the outcomes. We saw that the outcomes are um, head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. We saw that there are four outcomes. A tree diagram is a way of visualizing a multiple step experiment. So let's draw a tree diagram for the experiment of tossing two coins. So in step one, which is tossing the first coin, there are two possible outcomes, head and tail. In step two, which is tossing the second coin, there are also two possible outcomes. We can get head or tail. So if the first coin lands head, the second coin, the possible outcomes are still going to be either head or tail. Now, if the first coin lands tail, um, the, the possible outcomes in step two are still going to be head and tail. Now, the final outcome of this multiple step experiment, if the outcome of step one is head and the outcome of step two is also head, then the total outcome is going to be head head. If the first coin lands head and the second coin lands tail, the final outcome is going to be head tail. If the first coin lands tail and the second coin lands head, the final outcome is going to be tail head. And if the first coin lands tail and the second coin lands tail, the final outcome is going to be tail tail. So this is a tree diagram. Again, it's a way of visualizing a multiple step experiment.